Hello friends, welcome to the series of interview questions and answers. Any job interview is nothing lesser than a sales pitch, wherein candidates try to sell their skills to an interviewer in order to convince him or her that they should be the top choice for the particular job opening. Now psychologists say that human beings generally make their decisions within first 6 to 10 seconds of the sales pitch and they look for the evidences to support their decisions for the rest of the duration of the sales pitch in order to validate their decisions. If that is true, we can fairly say that well begun is half done. If you create a first positive impression by attracting an interviewer's attention when answering the first question of an interview, you get a good start for a good leverage. Now here is a good news for you. The first question of any interview is already leaked. Yes my friends, I am talking about the first question of an interview which is tell me about yourself or introduce yourself. My name is Kevin Kutlo and in this video I am going to talk about how to answer this question effectively so that you kickstart your opportunity with a bang. So are you ready? Let's begin. So before even starting the answer, let's understand why this question is being asked. The first reason is, interviewer wants to get bird's eye view of your resume through your perspective. They also want to check your ability to connect with the unknown people in first interaction. Obviously, your presentation skills matter. And last but not least, which is very obvious reason to check your communication and language skills. Now that we understand the reasons why this question is being asked, let's understand the common mistakes so, so that you avoid them in your answers. Do not recite your entire resume. Do not buy out the answer. Avoid mentioning family background unless and until interviewer ask about it because your family background has nothing to do with the job opening. Avoid mentioning hobbies like reading the books, listening to the music. These are very common hobbies which generally every candidate will have. So highlight something which is substantial or don't mention it. Avoid mentioning too much information about the education. That means you need not tell about your schooling, your junior college, your high school and all these things. Just list down what is relevant to the job opening. And last but not least, do not follow the old and boring format because it is so predictable that interviewer will not be interested in listening to it. He may hear it or she may hear it but they may not listen to it. It's like watching Suri Vamsha movie every day on set max, right? Now that we understand what mistakes you should avoid, let's understand the skeleton of the answer. This is the old format which is very boring and predictable. This is the new format. This looks a little longer, right? I'm not going to explain it here, but I'm going to explain it with the example. So, what is the right duration of this answer? Some, some people say that it should be 60 seconds, some people say it should be 90 seconds. I say it doesn't matter. As far as your content is good, the quality of content is good, and content is relevant to the job opening. Now let's take the example. Imagine that you are applying for the team leads position. You started working as a team lead since past three jobs. Overall, you have worked with six companies so far. So this is the scenario in which I am going to explain how to answer this question. You start with the thank you note. It should be one liner, very simple, do not make it too dramatic. Then you should tell your name and current location. Which is very simple again one liner then you tell your overall experience and domain knowledge so that interviewer gets bird's eye view of your total experience then you start with the relevant experience so what is relevant experience in this case 
obviously your last three jobs where you started working as a team lead so summarize that experience into two three or four sentences and what are big achievements during that tenure then rest of the experience you can just summarize in one or two sentences then comes the education certifications and achievements hobbies i have made it red because mention it when you have something substantial to show then you should tell interviewer why you think you are the most suitable candidate for this position this is a place where you should highlight your skills highlight your very important work experience such as on site opportunities or uh, any trainings which you, which you attended which are very critical for the job opening and that's why you are making the case why you are the best candidate for this job opening and last but not least end your answer with a positive note where you tell interviewer why you are so excited about about this job opening or interview here you should tell more about the company is some bigger products which you are fascinated about and that's why you are really looking forward to this interview now caution do not copy this answer as it is use this as a skeleton use this as a format take guidelines from it and improvise make sure that your answer is unique to you that will enhance your opportunity to connect with the interviewer during the first question itself now if you are a fresher your format little bit changes almost 60 to 70% format is same only thing changes is your educational qualification will go higher because you don't have experience so obviously your achievement in the college engineering college is something you need to show your skill sets which you learned during engineering college or some of the courses which you did should be highlighted here after that you should talk about if you have done any internship or what project you did during final year of engineering so it should lead to the next questions then rest of the things are same as it was uh, for the experienced people so again do not copy this format improvise right if you have any questions around this topic please let me know write in the comment and i'll make sure that i try my best to answer your questions thank you for watching this video